Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are so glad that you have joined us on today for 365 Reading, where we are um, so excited that the American Literacy and Mr. Floyd Stokes have launched this awesome initiative. And we started reading on October the 1st, and we will be doing that all the way up until September the 30th, 2021. If you are wanting to be a reader, um, of any sort, you can go to www.superreader.org to sign up. Um, even if you are a past reader, you can sign up for multiple days. Um, we have awesome, a lot of different slots. So please sign up, sign up today. Uh, we thank you for all of our viewers listening, all of our young people watching on today. We appreciate you. And hopefully you are going to enjoy these awesome two readers that are going to come on today to read to you. Um, at the first reader, we are going to have is none other than Mr. Lieutenant William Slayton. He's going to come at this time. I want to give you just a brief introduction of who he is as he comes on camera. Um, he is um, stationed as a state police officer in the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania area. And he has been an officer for over 13 years. And he has a five-year-old son. Um, I'm sure who he loves reading to as well. And um, this is his first time, so we're going to welcome him, but it's not going to be his last time. So don't know. Um, this is going to be a familiar face. I'm sure that you'll see him at another time throughout the year. Um, but we want to welcome Lieutenant um, Slayton to the actual platform. And this is his time. He's going to present what book he's going to do. And it's all yours, Lieutenant. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to be reading I Promise by LeBron James. We are family. I promise. I promise to work hard and to do what's right, to be a leader in this game of life. I promise to go to school and read as much as I can to follow the rules and respect the game plan. I promise to run full court and show up each time to get right back up and let my magic shine. I promise to be open and to try new things and enjoy the happy that change can bring. I promise to wear a big smile and to use kindness when I speak, to remain strong yet humble with every win and defeat. I promise to ask for help whenever I need it, to reach for my star even when I can't see it. I promise to ask questions and find answers, to believe in next time and second chances. I promise to use my voice and stand up for what's right. And when things get tough, to keep up the fight. I promise to stand tall, rise up, and give it all that I've got to throw the alley-oop and uplift others on this spot. I promise to respect my elders and peers the same, to leave new places better 
then I came. I promise to stay true, keep my head up, and never give up, no matter what. I promise to dream big and love bigger, to be a team player and a winner. I promise to cross bridges and break down walls, to rise with the sun and learn from the falls. I promise to be courageous, to be free, to strive for greatness. I promise to be me. And that is the end of the book. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Lieutenant. I appreciate you. I'm very welcome. And I'm going to share and I'll let you know a couple of things. I'm going to ask you some questions right after Mr. Hill gets finished um, about that I Promise book. But we thank you for reading on today. Excellent. Um, this you. time, I'm going to bring on camera um, Mr. Henry Hill. He is no stranger. Um, he is definitely, I say, a veteran to this. He has been doing reading um, to young people for quite some time. Um, he is an awesome gentleman. He has been retired. Um, for the past six years. I know he loves to travel with him and his wife. Um, he is from, proudly from the Stilton area, which they actually just won the state championship for the high school, um, Stilton High Spire, Still High Rollers. So shout out to the Rollers um, in Stilton. And he loves God and he loves people. And he also is a proud um, graduate of the University of Rhode Island. So he is coming at this time um, to share the book. He'll let you know what book he's reading on today. So young people, listen up. It's a great and awesome book. But Mr. Hill, it is all yours. Thank you. Oh, hi. Today, you all, I'm going to be reading from one from a series. There's a series of books. Uh, if you take a mouse somewhere. And so there's, if you take a mouse to school, and there's one that's if you take a mouse, uh, if, you, if you give a pig a pancake, if you give a mouse a cookie, and today, we're going to be reading from If You Give a Mouse a Muffin. These are all by uh, the author Laura Numeroff and illustrated by Felicia Barr. Again, If You Give a Mouse a Muffin. If you give a mouse, if you, if you give a moose, I say a mouse, if you give a moose a muffin, Uh, he'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade jam, uh, some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another and another and another. And another. When they're all gone, He'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store. Uh, to it, uh, you'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. And guess what? He'll want to go with you. When he opens the door, uh, when he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts on the sweater, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll start sewing, or he'll, one of the buttons, is loose. he'll ask for a needle and a thread. He'll start sewing the button and will, uh, the button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So he'll ask you for, 
So he'll ask you for some old socks. He'll want to make sock puppets. When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. As puppet shows are such fun, he'll need some cardboard and some paint. Then he'll ask you to help make the scenery from all the cardboard and paint. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So you'll bring him a sheet from, so with the antlers standing out, he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, boo. I'll scare him. It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paints. So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang out the sheet on the uh, up to dry. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll use, the, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask you for some. Seeing the blackberries and being reminded of her jam, he'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, He'll want a muffin to go with it. The end. The end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hill, for reading that awesome book. I'm going to bring Lieutenant um, Slayton back on the line as well. Um, but thank you both for reading these awesome books. I thought they were great, phenomenal books. I never heard, um, and I'll come to you, Mr. Uh, Hill, but I never heard of the book, If a Moose... Um, if you give a moose, moose a muffin, but I have heard of the LeBron James, I promise. So, uh, Lieutenant, um, I wanted to ask you, um, because this is a popular book. It's a very good book, um, for young people. And I think it's an awesome read and thank you for choosing that book. But I wanted to ask, um, the, one of the things I liked about the book, a couple of things I pointed out was, um, the part where it said, I promise to never give up no matter what. Um, I promise to rise with the sun and learn from the falls. And I promise to strive for greatness. And I promise to be me. One thing I love about that is that, one, it was about, you know, they promised these things that they were going to be themselves. Um, that sometimes you may not always get it right. But if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. Um, I love the fact that they were still able to proceed through whatever obstacles they may have. Um, and challenges they may have faced. So I wanted to know what made you choose this particular book and what was one of your favorite things that you read out of this book? So I chose this particular book uh, because I want to teach my son uh, the same points that you just brought up. 
uh, that even though you fall, you still have to get back up and get back in the fight. Uh, life is going to be full of challenges. Nothing in life is going to come easy, even becoming a Pennsylvania State Trooper and earning this uniform. Some people have to apply and take the test two, three times, but they don't give up and they finally succeed and they become troopers and now they can protect uh, the citizens within the state. Um, so I, I chose this book just because of the positive affirmations and uh, they're realistic. Again, you're gonna have challenges in life, but get up, dust yourself off and try again. I love that. I love that. I love that, Lieutenant. Um, one thing I definitely love as well is that um, I heard somebody say on yesterday that the uh, they had published a book and it took them 70 times before wow. someone said yes to them. And what that spoke to me is that although you may get a lot of no's, eventually, if you continue to stay on track, somebody is going to say yes. So I, I love the fact that you um, spoke those same sentiments about the book, I promise. And if you can hold that book again, so if our viewers can see that, if they want to, parents want to purchase this, this is written um, and illustrated by Nina. Um, I think it's Nina Mata. And it's uh, Nina Mata, author. correct. Okay. And LeBron James, we all know who he is. He is the author of this I Promise book. So pick this up for your young people. Um, read this in your, um, in your libraries. I think it's a great read and I think you would enjoy it. And especially the young people would enjoy that. So thank you, Lieutenant, on reading that book. You're very welcome. Mr. Hill, Mr. Hill. So <clears throat> you chose one of a series of books, which was um, <laughs> if a moose had, if you give a moose a muffin, so this was a hilarious book for me, but one, a couple of things that I, I picked out that I did like, um, I'm sure there's a lot of young people that love muffins out there um, and they probably love it with the jam, just like the moose. Um, but one thing is that despite this moose was very busy, I'll say that he was a very busy moose, but the young man didn't mind assisting and helping him through all of his different endeavors. Um, what did you like about this particular book? And what made you choose um, if you give a moose a muffin? Um, mainly out of out of that and, and, and of the three, you know, four in there is the thing about being able to discuss not the, uh, how you can get distracted, but still the point, uh, you know, your goal is still it has to be there. It's, it starts out about that muffin. Um, my oldest son had attention deficit and, and honestly, I probably, I probably was a little ADD myself and that my mind was all over the place. And so, you know, per the example, the distractions are there, but at the end of the day, um, you know, it was still about the muffin and the jam. That's the thing. And that, that's something that is worthy of, of discussions uh, with kids. There are so many distractions. Now that being able to sit down and to have those kind of discussions with young people uh, about how to how to find the focus, or even even if you get distracted, of getting back to your point, you know, in your goal. That was one of the things that that, that stood out for me uh, in all of that. Um, and this actually ties in almost with the I Promise book that although you may have distractions and different things may occur, as long as you get up again and continue on the path of your goals, you can reach them. Um, and he reached the fact that he came back and got his muffin with the jam. So he never gave up on that task. <laughs> can, can I add too, you know, with the, I, with the I Promise book and the one thing that Lieutenant book that he, that he read was is that, that, again, in discussing, and he mentioned, you know, his children, you know, and being able to have that discussion. That I Promise is something that, that uh, discussion I had with my sons about their words. And, you know, I promise says that I, you know, that you're personally, you know, committed or convicting, you know, committing yourself to that that comes out of your mouth. You know, I promise and what that 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 uh, set of words actually means. And it, and it becomes, you know, it used to be on the street, you know, word is bond. Uh, we don't know how accurate that is anymore, but, you know, that is that is a discussion to have with young folks and older folks alike about what we say. Uh, it needs to be built with mean and what we're committed to. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, gentlemen, I thank you for both sharing these books. Mr. Hill, if you can hold your book up so people can oh. see that book um, so they can actually purchase that. 
if a moose, if you give a moose a muffin, and that is by Laura, I can't make out the name. It's so. a numeral, uh, M N N A. What is it? Oh, N U M E R O F F. Laura right. Numero. And okay. uh, I don't know if that helps. And it's it's yes. uh, Felicia Bond is the illustrator. Yep, that works. So parents, both of these books, I'm sure you can probably find at your bookstore or on Amazon that you can pick up for your libraries. Please get these books because they're awesome reads and I think your young people would definitely enjoy them. So again, Lieutenant Slayton and Mr. Henry Hill, thank you both for joining us and hopefully this will not be your last time um, for coming with 365 Reading. And on behalf of American Literacy uh, Corporation and Mr. Floyd Stokes, we both thank you for coming and sharing the time to read to young people on today. Again, thank you. readers and listeners, you. please, you're welcome. Um, listeners, as well as readers, again, if you want to be a part of this, you can go to www.superreader.org and you can participate in 365 reading. Again, we are reading from October the 1st, we started and we will end on September 30th, 2021. And we will be reading each and every day at 11 a.m. So please join us on tomorrow, same time, same place. Um, and we thank you again for joining us. Again, thank you all. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.